Okay, for us to have a better understanding of what supply chain management is all about, let us first discuss what a supply chain is. Supply chain is a system of organizations, people, technology, activities, information, and resources involved in moving a product or service from supplier to customer. Supply chain encompasses the company's business activities needed to design, make, deliver, and use a product or service. Supply chain activities transform natural resources, raw materials, and components into a finished product that is delivered to the end customer. Okay, if that is what a supply chain is all about, then we can now define what a supply chain management is. Supply chain management is the management of a network of interconnected businesses involved in the provision of products and service packages required by the end customers in a supply chain. Supply chain management spans all movement and storage of raw materials, work in process inventory, and finish goods from point of origin to point of consumption. In simple words, it is the things we do to influence the behavior of the supply chain and get the results we want. Let's imagine a hunter without food. Can they survive? If the hunters are not fed, they cannot live and survive. Here is the analogy of supply chain management. The wood and stone are the raw materials needed to create a spear. The supplier is nature, where they can get the wood from trees and stone from the ground. Next part is manufacturing. This is where they create the spear by enhancing the stone to make it sharper and connecting it to the wood. Next is the distribution. This is where they place the finished spear into their storehouses. Next is for giving it to the customers or to the hunters themselves, where the hunters can get the finished spear and then hold it and use it for hunting. There is another saying that goes, Amateur stock strategy and professional stock logistics. People can discuss all sorts of grand strategies, but none of that will be possible without first figuring out how to meet the day-to-day -day demands of providing hunters with food, wood, and stone. Remember, you can provide a lot of strategies on how to be successful in business. But it requires the basic fundamentals of which supply chain management is talking about. This is the strategic portion of STM. Companies need a st strategy for managing all the resources that go toward meeting customer demand for their products or service. A big piece of STM planning is developing a set of metrics to monitor the supply chain so that it is efficient, cost costless, and delivers high quality and value to customers. Next. Companies must choose suppliers to deliver the goods and services they need to create their product. Therefore, supply chain managers must develop a set of pricing, delivery, and payment processes. 
With suppliers that create metrics for monitoring and improving the re relationships, and then SCM managers can put together process for managing their goods and services inventory, including receiving and verifying shipments, transferring them to the manufacturing facilities, and authorizing supplier payments. This is the manufacturing step. Supply chain managers schedule the activities necessary for production, testing, packaging, and preparing for delivery. This is the most metric-intense portion of the supply chain. One where companies are able to measure quality level, production output, and worker productivity. This is the part that many SCM insiders refer to as logistics, where companies coordinate the receipt of orders from customers, develop a network of warehouses, pick carriers to get products to customers, and set up an invoicing system to receive payments. This can be a problematic part of the supply chain for many companies. Supply chain planners have to create a responsive and flexible network for receiving defective and excess products back from their customers and supporting customers who have problems with delivered product. How do companies use supply chain management? First, we must break down supply chain management into smaller topics. A part of supply chain management is inventory. And there are many companies that make their inventory information available on the web. For example, Target.com. Target's website allows you to check for stock at Target stores in your local area. Another example of this is EEM.com, which allows users to check stock on electronic components. It will show you distributors, manufacturers, and brokers holding stock on that part and how many they have in stock. Another aspect of supply chain management is transit. Many consumer websites allow you to upgrade the shipping method from ground to overnight or second day delivery. Also, you may get tracking numbers or waybills which you can use to track your shipment status. A very useful site for this tracking is track-trace.com. 